this lesson I'm going to show you another linear programming exam question. So it says, by shading the unwanted regions of the grid, find and label the region R that satisfies the following inequalities. Y must be less than or equal to 5, 2x plus y must be greater than or equal to 6, and finally, y must be greater than or equal to x plus 1, okay? And here's the grid, and one of the lines has been drawn on already for us. So what you need to do to start with is start by drawing the straight lines on your grid, okay? So when I say draw the straight lines, I mean change these inequalities to equations. So for the first one, y equals 5, okay? You need to draw that line on the grid. So the line y equals 5 is a horizontal line that goes across your grid like this and it crosses the y-axis at 5 okay so every point along this line the y value is always equal to 5 okay so there's the first line obviously when you do it use a ruler okay so it's a bit straighter than the one I've drawn there for the next one if this becomes an equation it becomes 2x plus y equals 6 okay so just change the inequality sign to an equal sign and if I rearrange this equation to make y the subject, so it's in the format y equals mx plus c, it becomes y equals negative 2x plus 6. So you can see that the y-intercept of this straight line is positive 6, and the gradient is negative 2. So it's actually the line that's been drawn on the grid already for us, okay? Here's the y-intercept, positive 6. And the gradient is negative 2 because when we go along one unit to the right, we go down 2, along 1, down 2, along 1, down 2. Okay, so that's the gradient negative 2. So we don't need to draw that line on our grid. For the last one, we need to draw y equals x plus 1. So if we look at the gradient of this straight line, it would be positive 1 because we have 1x here. And the y-intercept is also positive 1. So if I draw that line on the grid, I know it crosses the y-axis at positive 1. And if the gradient is positive 1, when I go one unit to the right, I have to go 1 up. 1 to the right, 1 up, and so on. Okay. So then, if you draw that on the grid, it should look something like that. Okay. Obviously, again, use a ruler and it will be much neater than the one I've done on the whiteboard. Okay. So start by drawing the straight lines. Okay. Next, we have to shade the unwanted regions. Okay. And then the bit that's left over will be the region R that satisfies all of the inequalities. So let's look at the first inequality. This says Y must be smaller than or equal to the number 5. Well, this horizontal line is y equals 5. So every point along that line, y is equal to 5. If we want smaller than or equal to 5, that would be everything below the line, because all the values of y here are smaller than 5. So that's what we want. So that means everything that's unwanted, the unwanted region, would be above the line, okay? Because that is where all the y coordinates are greater than 5. Okay, so that's the unwanted region for the first one. Now, this one here. 2x plus y must be greater than or equal to 6. And remember, we're looking at this straight line here, the one that was drawn in the first place. So it says 2x plus y has to be greater than or equal to 6. On the line, it's 2x plus y is equal 6. Okay? So if you want greater than, it would be everything above the line. Because if you look at the way my hand's moving above this line, okay, parallel to this line, all of the x and y values are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay? All the y values got greater here, x values here. So that is the side that we need. So if you're shading the unwanted region, you would shade underneath the graph because that's when all the coordinates get smaller. Okay, so that's just a logical way of looking at the question. If you can't see just that logical method and you want something more precise, what you can do is choose a point on your grid, and it doesn't matter which point you choose. I'm going to choose the origin because they're nice, easy coordinates, zero, zero. And you must substitute those points into the inequality and then compare it with the inequality that you need, okay? 
So you need to change both the x and y values to zero. So instead of saying 2 multiplied by x, we've got 2 multiplied by 0, and then we're adding another 0, because y is also 0, and then it's meant to be greater than or equal to 6. Well, 2 multiplied by 0 plus 0 is just 0. Remember, the symbol is the same as what was given in the question here. This reads 0 is greater than or equal to 6. Well, that's false, okay? 0 is smaller than 6. So this is incorrect. So the point zero, zero that I've chosen, which is underneath the graph down here, is incorrect, okay? So that means it's the unwanted region. So it means you would need to shade everything underneath the graph. So if we shade underneath, okay, it just means everything above the graph does agree with the inequality given, okay? Let's use that same method for the last one. So we're going to use the same coordinates, 0, 0, and substitute them into this inequality. So we need to change the y value to 0, the x value to 0, and then calculate what that gives us. So 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 is greater than or equal to 1. Well, again, it's false. Okay, 0 is not greater than or equal to 1. It's smaller than 1. Okay, so again, it doesn't agree okay with the inequality so if we look at that straight line the final one here zero zero the origin is underneath the graph remember it didn't work so you need to shade everything underneath the graph okay so the side that agrees with the inequality would be above the line all right if when you substituted those numbers in and the inequality was correct that means you would need to shade the opposite side to where you chose the point. So we chose 0, 0 here, okay, and it was underneath the graph. If that had worked and the inequality was correct, you would need that side of the graph, so you would have shaded above the graph instead, okay? So we've done all the shading. We've shaded the unwanted regions of the graph, and we're left with this triangle here that's unshaded. So this is region R. Okay, so that's it. I hope you found the lesson helpful. If you haven't already seen part one, I show you a different type of linear programming exam question, so you might want to check that out. And soon I will do different types of linear programming questions. So for example, uh, wordy questions, where you have to formulate the inequalities yourself first before you can solve the problem.